she's mobile and the barco rolls moving on moving on i should have did some video of the other job like cleaning up joe did a damn fine job making the landing looks uh hell it looks like we was never there i moved my skitter over here so we can load it out on this old landing here she looks pretty don't she video this is how all the log trucks had to go out of here sorry I'm trying to hold this camera steady for you guys one nasty turn down here and it seems like on a nasty turns that's always when you meet somebody This is the nasty turn. Through a couple of whoop de woos. Let's turn and whoop de woos and we'll be all right. Go easy. Ah, look at that. Rob's a good driver, man. He really is. dragging my livelihood around so it's thawing out folks got more snow at my house which is south of here than we did up here which is kind of abnormal normally we get more down south it was raining this morning when i woke up and it's just kind of like i don't know what it is it's like working in a cloud today it's foggy and just bleh. we're getting through the whoop de woos here I'm sure the old barco is going to be trimming trees down here in the pine trees. Hopefully the light makes it through it. Hope y'all enjoying it. It's kind of, I know it's probably boring as hell for you. My butt's puckered up tighter than a snare drum. I don't know why, it just is. I rubbed some paint off the A and the R in Barco. We're going to have to address that. I'm going to get a pressure washer. She's probably going to get a bath on this next job. Next warm day, she needs a good spray down. She's getting dirty. I'm going to give her a good scrub down, get all up in her bits. All right, that's enough of that crap. Uh, hopefully we'll get some video when we get her set up at the next J-O-B. Folks, it's like eight o'clock and I'm just now leaving. I don't know. I don't know how well you can see me, if you can see me at all. I'm gonna set that there for a moment. Cause I, I, you're probably gonna go flying here in a minute when I hit this dip. Um, I'm sorry, I didn't get any video of moving equipment it, it was a hairy day it was one of them days where you just got to hold your mouth straight we got ourselves into some situations i wasn't real comfortable with but we got it all done and we're ready to go on this next one it's, i wanted to do it all today because it's supposed to rain cats and dogs and 
lizards and birds and every other kind of pet you could ever imagine. Needless to say, tomorrow will be a good day to be a duck. I hope you can see me. I don't know. Can you see my ugly mug? So anyways, uh, it's what we just got done doing was moving the dozer. And uh, it's a heck of a time turning around because where we're at is like housing plan central. It's ugly. And neighbors don't like what's going on. So I'm sure you can all only, you know, you can all imagine. But um I forget what the heck I wanted to tell you. Well, there you go, you took the header. Sorry, let me clean the screen off, do it again. <laughs> oh. Oh man, hold on here a minute. Okay, what I wanted to touch base on real quick is Logger Wade said something. A couple videos back, he was having an issue getting a pin or pin stock or something, and you know, the guys were saying they go on lunch and you know, he says, ah, about a set lunch time and everything. I want to touch on a point. He makes a valid point. If you want to be successful in life, you have to learn you've got to learn to be flexible would be the word I think you just stay right there and um, I mean here I am I think I left the house at 6 o'clock this morning it's 8 o'clock I'm still 45 minutes from home I have not ate lunch or dinner I'm going to get dinner don't you worry about that I'm gonna go tear some chicken and taters up at uh, and that's what they call them taters at this restaurant down the road here ways called Harold's but um if you're not flexible I mean if you're not giving everything and I wonder once sometimes like I got to be losing my mind to be doing this stuff and you know going the way I am but I want this that bad and that's how I'm trying to get the point across if you want something you got to be willing to sacrifice things and you know if I miss a meal here and there or, and you gotta work real late one night. I mean, that's a minor sacrifice to what I'm working towards my goal, and that's being successful. So, I just wanted to anybody out there, you know, looking to get into this type of work, and it's not just pertain doesn't just pertain to this particular um, field or career industry. It's a lot of things, but I'm just saying this one in particular, if you're not willing to do that, then I, I don't see you getting very far. I know I'm giving it everything I have, quite literally, mentally, physically, monetarily, and it, I'm scraping. Barely, but I'm scraping, and I'm proud of that. So, But once again, sorry I didn't get more video. I'll get you some more here soon. Um, this ought to be an interesting one. Let's see what I've gotten myself into, eh?